Well, hello there and welcome to Coding Exam, where I may myself think that I'm twice as productive by solving coding problems while recording myself for videos on YouTube. So this is basically a series where I will re be recording myself while I'm solving coding problems and while I'm learning along the way and hopefully you will learn something as well while I'll go off camera for just a little bit. Okay, so we will start with easy problems and the first website that I will use for this series will be LitCode which has coding problems ranging from easy to hard. Um, so what I will do, I will start with the first problem because that's an easy problem, they say it is easy and we will continue for a few episodes, quite a few episodes with easy problems and we will see how I'm doing with those and then we will start trying medium problems until we get to the hard ones and hopefully I won't fumble too much with the easy ones because that's gonna be embarrassing but uh, it's just a learning experience so <laughs> who cares really so yeah well, let's just start on the first problem which is gonna be the one that we will solve in this episode we will only solve one problem in this episode so I will minimize the camera and put it here in the bottom corner and what I want to do is I am going to try and make the well this is a little bit big we want this a little smaller and we will read the first problem it's called to sum and it says given an array of integers so we have an array return indices of the two numbers uh, such that they add up to a specific target so we're given an array with values which are integers and we have to return the two uh, elements that add up to a specific target so we're giving a target number as well you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice okay so there is only one solution so once we find the first solution we don't have to try and find another one you only need one and they give us an example if we have this array and target 9 because 2 plus 7 is 9 the function because we will make a function will return 0 and 1 because nums of 0 plus nums of 1 give us the target of 9 so I'm going to go in Visual Studio and I already created here a folder called solving coding problems um, okay and I will create a new file which I will call to sum dot gs and I will go a bit off camera because I need to check something okay well I'm not actually off camera uh, okay we'll go back to Visual Studio and we want to put an example array here so I can show some example of how we're gonna think about how we're gonna approach this problem so we'll put 2, 4, 9, 13, 18, 
54 100 this should be enough and we will make a function an arrow function named to sum of an array and target number and I think what I want to do is we're going to make a loop which goes once through the whole array and for each element it will make I will, we will make another loop which goes from that element forward without including that element and we will check if that element plus any of the elements going after is equal with the target number and we're going to do it like that because we do not have to check when we are on number 9 in the first loop we do not have to check if 9 plus 4 equals to the target number because if that was true then when we were on 4 on the f first time when when the loop the first loop was on 4 then it, it will have found that 4 plus 9 equal 13 and which it would have um, return those numbers so it will be not possible if he didn't find it the first time it will not find it the second time so in here I will create a loop um, which goes from 0 to array length well to, to less than array length and in here I want to create another loop uh, okay which goes again it goes to array length and here I have deleted one of these so I need to put it back And in here I want to check if if the current element if if the element with an index of i the current i equals why well, but this um, this array we want it to start it from i plus one so we want to if uh, if i is one so it's here we want j to be two so it will start from here that loop will start from here so we want j to be i plus one so if array of i equals with array of j we want to return an array with the value i and g okay and if it doesn't return anything until the after the end of the for loop we want to return no solution found found but here I want to check the second element only if only if array of i well no i don't want i was thinking i want only want to check the element only if the current element is less than the target number but we may have we may have negative numbers so we don't need this in here that's gonna make it not work when there are 
negative numbers so yeah I think this is the solution I'm gonna copy this in console in Google Chrome and paste it out okay I have the console over here I'm gonna paste it let's hope we get no error and there's no error and let's check to sum of array not array I want just array and let's check 154 and we get an error array is not defined okay we have not defined the array basically <laughs> I just put uh, an array here but I have not defined it so what we want here is const sum array equals and let's try again okay and now let's check to sum of sum array and 154 and we get 0 and 1 what is that this is a mistake here so let's try and figure out why we get 0 and 1 Oh, <laughs> this is wow, this is um, ridiculous, we, it's equal, basically here we, we are assigning something, we have to check if they are equal, not assigning something, wow, so yeah, let's copy this again, and, and check, no solution found, why is that? Well, it is that. I cannot find where the problem is. Okay, well, there is a problem here because <laughs> we check if array i equals what? Why we would we check the, that that checks if the there are two equal numbers in the array. <laughs> wow, there's so many rookie mistakes in here. We have to check if the two numbers equals added equal with target number. And then uh, third, third one or fourth one is a channel. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, oh, why are we keep assigning things? Fifth one is a channel. <laughs> wow. Okay. Array is not defined. even fifth one is a charm okay I tried I have to put here some array and finally five and six wow is this easy or what <laughs> okay so Finally, we have a solution that's working, and let's try it with two more values. 
Um, let's try it with. Uh, I'm gonna move this here. And let's try it with. Uh, maybe 4 plus 4, 58. So we want to check for 58. And we get 1. Yeah, we get one in this in this of one and in this of five. And let's check one where there's no sound, so let's just make up a number 138, which I'm pretty sure there's no solution there. So and we get no solution found. And this is the solution to the first one which took way longer than I thought, but uh, it's basically show that this these ones are live and raw. These um, episodes are where I'm solving coding problems for the first time. I'm not trying to fool you guys. This is as pitiful as they come. <laughs> so, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys can see the evolution of myself while I'm recording these videos and uh, don't be fooled even even after a long time in programming everybody can make rookie mistakes and assign instead of checking equality so don't beat yourselves up because i'm not beating mine i'm not beating myself up and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and my um, funny mistakes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.